<laughs> Welcome to the world famous Guarantee RV Super Centers right here in Junction City, Oregon. I'm Gary Christians, but oh yeah, I'm the van guy and I've got more vans for you today. 2019 Pleasure Way FL Front Lounge, or TS, excuse me, TS floor plan. We don't have the front lounge, but what we have in place of that is amazing. Uh, let's take a peek inside. We'll go to the back of the bus. So you've got ultra leather memory foam uh, throughout the unit. You have your little control panel right here. So let's just extend this. They have two control panels, one up front and one in the back. So you don't have to jog yourself all the way up front. Very comfortable bed. It comes as twins, or if you fill the board system in, take these two cushions, then you've got like a king size bed. Hit this retract. You can also do your awning in here too. You can check all your other capacities. Uh, come over here and take a look. Solar panels to the left. As you can see, you have your control panel here. Uh, showing your propane, black, gray, fresh, water pump switch, generator. This has an auto start feature too. You can set it to temperature or voltage. That way if you wanted to make sure that the unit stayed cool, it would turn itself on at a certain temperature, run until the other settings reached, and it'll shut itself down. Uh, if you had a pet or something like that, it would be a big advantage. Um, nice flat screen. It's got a Bose sound bar for good sound quality. Your DVD player, they hid inside here, so it's out of the way. Plenty of room to store your DVDs. So this Pleasure Way offers a five-year warranty on all their craftsmanship of what they make. Five-year parts and labor. Very nice feature. Here's your privacy curtain here in the back. So this is where you would stick your, your table if you wanted it back here by using these two, two pieces here. You have a nice table, then it rotates out of the way. It also goes up front as well. Uh, USB ports on both sides, electrical outlets. So if you need a CPAP like I do, uh, you've got a place to plug it in as well as 12 volt. Um, you've got your pull down shades that roll up. Uh, windows are jealousy on both sides for ventilation. Fantastic fans up front so you can circulate air through the unit. We have a counter extension hiding here in the back. A solid surface countertop. And this just slides out of the way. It flips up and gives you a little additional workspace. And again, for a small 22 foot motorhome, this has got a lot of room. Notice the heavy grade hinges and supports. That's, that's part of why they can put a five year warranty on their conversion on all their products. Family owned company out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Uh, now, we got rid of the FL, right? This is a TS. But what you get, you still get the convection microwave, but what, what they've done is they've added a big double door refrigerator, a lot of room in the freezer and the refrigerator, good storage in the drawers, the doors, and a big wardrobe closet. Take a look at that. Nice hanging space. Uh, your boards are right there to make the twin into a, a king bed. And then it's got all your owner's packet in here. And of course, the throw mats we don't put down until it's over in delivery and sold. Um, new sh uh, shower nozzle. We'll just tuck this out of the way for right now. Uh, big recessed stainless sink flush mount to make it easy to clean. Big storage area down below, plenty of room for a garbage can, easy access for any repairs. 110 outlet. And you've got a nice storage space down here. This is the controls for your Truma system. This screen's a neat screen and when we go outside, I'll talk more about that. Uh, bathroom. Very spacious bathroom. Got a medicine cabinet, a vanity, solid surface in here as well. 
and your shower nozzles here. Uh, your curtain does pull around to cover your your vanity. And again, when you're in here, you're going to be sitting down. You're going to take the nozzle, wet yourself, scrub or soap yourself up, and rinse yourself off. It is a wet bathroom, but if you're out in the middle of nowhere, it's a good place to get clean. There, a, a lot of nice room in there. So. Both seats turn, the passenger seat of course is more usable uh, because the bathroom doesn't come all the way up behind. Uh, it's a six cylinder, five speed transmission. Uh, when we had our rental company, they averaged 20 to 22 miles per gallon. Uh, it does have power windows, power locks, tilt and telescoping uh, steering wheel. Um, also, Mercedes, you can hit the lever and you can lower the chair all the way down. So if you've got shorter legs or long legs, it's fully adjustable, lumbar support, and also the front part of the seat raises and lowers as well. Uh, they didn't put a big storage area up here, so it's not easy to get in and out of the cabin area uh, when you're coming from the living quarters up front. Um, a lot of storage for cups, cup holders up front. There's, a, I believe, about six places to put your cups. And I think we're ready to go outside and take a look at this screen. I'm going to hit the disconnect here. Got to push off, not on. That makes it work. So I I'm talking about this screen. It's a great screen. It unclasps, comes all the way down. You zipper it closed, and now you've got a nice tight screen. When you want to come out, you simply pull the screen away, walk out, and then the magnet clips it back in place. Pretty nice. Uh, portable, portable water goes in here. Alloys, uh, Alcoa rims, which is an upgrade. Here in the back you have a trailer hitch and wiring. This is going to tow 5,000 pounds. You have your propane outlet here where your fill nozzle is. So if you wanted to barbecue, you could hook onto that quick disconnect and be able to use the regulator in your system. Backup cameras right up here. Of course your doors open up. Lithium battery. So this bad boy, they have their lithium inside the unit where it's not gonna be affected by heat or cold and you're going to have an extremely long life and lots of power out of that between using the solar and charging through your engine it's going to be a great life uh, this is a tire repair kit uh, this does come with roadside assistance but if you're somewhere you could always go and push the fluid in put a bunch of air in air up your tire hopefully seal it up so you can get down to uh, a repair center Let's go down the driver's side. Uh, this is your propane generator outlet exhaust. It's a 2500 watt. Don't have to worry about carbon monoxide. Don't have to worry as much about seals and gaskets because it is propane and not gasoline. It's a nice feature. Here's your uh, ventilation for your battery. Vent for, uh, for your refrigerator. Service entrance is down below. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, the Truma system. Exhaust and intake uh, for your furnace. Um, so this just runs the hot water and your furnace runs your heat. Utility center, power cord, cable hookup, city water, and your LP on and off valve. Easy to get to, you don't have to get down on your hands and knees. Outdoor showers here. And then if you'll step behind me, I want to show you something. Because if you're on that side, you can see the dump handles, the dump station, and your sewer hose just goes right in here. Easy to get to. Now, with all Mercedes behind the driver's door is door number two, and that would be where you have your fuel. Uh, it's protected so people can't take it from you or give you something that you don't want. So it is enclosed behind the driver's door. Now, I know you must have a few questions. Well, who would you call? I'd call me, the van guy. You can call me direct at 541. You're writing this down? 
554-9581. My email's on the screen. I appreciate your time, and I look forward to talking with you.